Okay, so we're here in my hometown um, and we're doing a photo shoot, one of my sister, then we're going to lunch, and then after lunch we're going to do another photo shoot of like an actual person that's paying us, of an actual person that's paying us. Um, so I won't be able to use the camera during this, but after, we have a really cool story about how we were at a black tie event yesterday to raise a hundred million dollars. <laughs> Okay, so Emily is in the Jimmy John's bathroom changing. Anyways, while she's in there, I'm gonna tell the quick story about how we were at a black tie event yesterday. So Haley and I got invited, um, basically through all the business stuff that we've been doing, we got invited to go to this black tie event for our university where they were trying to raise $100 million, um, like the capital campaign. So they invited all of their like notable alumni, basically all the rich people who have graduated from our college. Um, and we were basically there to like talk up the university and be like, hey, donate a lot of money. So it started, we walked into the basketball court where it was like being held, but they transformed the entire thing so it didn't look like the basketball court at all. And then the waiters started dancing, uh, which was really interesting. They started dancing like from uh, Beauty and the Beast. Then the president of our university, his wife came on and sang happy birthday to him with like a spotlight and everything. Until I die, can't help loving that man of mine. Then there was a fashion show. Um, and then what else? There was something else. Oh, and then at the very end, there were like fireworks and cheerleaders dancing. It was this huge event that we went to, uh, and we basically were two of six students invited to go. So it was really cool, but I was kind of out of my comfort zone being all dressed up and like around all these people. So that was kind of different, but it was a really cool thing at least. It was, we got a, a gift bag at the end, a goodie bag. Yeah. By the way, those are from my Snapchat, all those videos you just watched. So if you haven't followed me, follow me on Snapchat and then follow Haley on Snapchat too, because his snap name. Well, I'm gonna put him. Is Sir Sniffles? No, I'm just. I don't know why I wasn't sniffly earlier today, and now it's just really bad. But we have like 20 minutes until we go eat, and we, it's it's almost one, and we haven't eaten all day. Can I so. tell you something? What? You look really good. I should pick your clothes more often. I picked this out today. You picked it out, but who told you to buy it? You look good. Thank you. So fine. Come on, put your body on, man. Whoa, whoa. Look at this truck. There's skulls. Oh my gosh. Haley, we can get that for our next car. It's kind of like, it looks like, have you ever seen um, Mad Max? No, it looks like it's from Mad Max. We just finished. We just finished doing the photo shoot on uh, downtown, and now we're going to another photo shoot, um, just in a different city. We're we're all over the place. You know what's by where we're going? What? Take a guess. Somewhere we don't have to go. A thrift something. No, actually no. What? What was our like every time we had a date over the summer? Where would we go? The animal shelter. Oh my gosh. We the could go look at puppies. Just bought Brian some coffee for helping me. He says it's really good. It's our first time here. We just randomly looked it up. And now we're scoping out where we can take our first few senior pictures of the day. We've never met them, so I don't really know what to look for or who to look for, but we'll find them. So one thing I like to do when I'm taking senior pictures is, like, I always think pictures look better when the senior is being, like, natural or themselves. There's something specific they like to wear or a certain way they're normally standing or acting. I like when the 
their natural personality comes out in the photos. So I try not to give too much direction. I'll say something like, okay, now sit there. And if they really need the help with like, oh, put your hands here, do this, I'll tell them. But if they just kind of naturally hit a certain pose, it normally looks a lot nicer than if I were to tell them to do something that's uncomfortable for them. It's just something I've kind of noticed after doing this for like, what, we've been doing it for like three years, four years now? We're back at Haley's house, finally. Uh, it's been, actually, did you realize that we've been driving? We drove two hours home and then we went to do a photo shoot and then another photo shoot. This is our first time being home and we've technically been like, we've yeah, technically- Spending half an hour at, uh... at Tim Hortons. We've been, we've actually like been home for, you, you gotta get your, I'll get it. Let me tell you though, we went to Tim Hortons this morning. I was in line for 30 minutes and the guy at the register was trying to enter a coupon code. Not exaggerating. not exaggerating, 30 minutes. The guy, I was next in line, but the people in front of me were trying to use a coupon code. The guy at the register took 15 to 20 minutes trying to enter this code. Eventually I just left because I wasn't gonna waste my time anymore. And I was telling Haley, I was like, if I owned, you okay? I'm coming. I told Haley, yeah, I told Haley that if I ever owned or if I ever own a store or a company where my employees work like that, I hope they get fired in negative one second. I hope they're fired immediately because I probably saw $50 worth of people walk out. Like they probably would have spent $50, but everyone started walking out of line. So Tim Hortons and you know, Tim Hortons, you just lost a lot of money and your employees are awful today. I haven't seen her in like months. She just hit me in the nuts. Oh. Basically, I started to learn that you need to value customers more than like a lot of other things, like marketing, blah blah blah. None of that stuff matters if your customers are pissed off. Cause I like my central bucket. <laughs> oh, do you want to see? Wait, wait, you. I like this. There is a lot that I believe. I got the more to free, 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 free. So I've been away making the green. See, the more that I get, the more that I need, 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 need. So if you haven't yet, go follow Haley. Can they, they can follow you, right? That's how it works. Yeah. Go follow Haley on Poshmark. Um, link, link right here, or in, link to Instagram and Poshmark right here. Um, she sells a lot of cool vintage stuff. A lot, actually, the, the shoes she's looking at right now aren't even—they don't even look like, like bad. Like they look brand new. Anyways, she sells a lot of like cool vintage stuff on there. A lot of it's pretty much new. Um, it's all stuff that she personally finds cool. So it's a pretty good selection on there. So go follow her. Buy some stuff if you want to. Go check it out at least, um, and go follow her on Instagram. Okay, so here's our other theory. We want to get a house, not like now, obviously, but in the future. If we got a house that has a TV room, imagine just like. Instead of buying furniture, just 10 of these giant seven foot bean bags to take up the whole room. Instead of spending money on furniture, you just buy a bunch of these things because they're super comfortable and, and yeah. So we just watched the saddest video. Don't even talk about it, okay. it ruined my whole day. It was a really sad video. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna end it here. It's been a long day. Um, no. Scrappy really wants to go play with the dogs he over there. I haven't seen him yet, but when he does. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching so much. It's been a crazy day. Um, what are we doing? Are we doing anything tomorrow that we're gonna Going make a back video to of? school. But like, are we gonna make a video? Probably not. No? Do we anything to do tomorrow to make a video out of? No. Okay. We go back to school and then we go to work. <laughs> okay, but we will be seeing you guys Unless later. Unless we go to Salvo. We'll be seeing you guys later this week um, because we have a trip to Texas planned. Woo. We have to go. We're going back to school tomorrow, which is Monday, and we're coming back here on Tuesday to fly out on Wednesday. So we'll definitely be putting videos up. But anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. Have a great one, and we'll see you in the next one.